off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Why do I have hot cocoa in a Christmas gnome mug? I'm freezing. I'm absolutely freezing cold. I've been kind of waiting here um, because Chelsea has said for the past hour or so she doesn't feel so well. So I have kind of held off from going to Costco to stock up on all this stuff for the kids while Jason and I are gone. And that, that little ping was, yep, now is the time. Come and get me. She made it back to school yesterday and did okay. She said she just felt like her nose was more of a problem. So that's just like cold symptoms. But she's back to kind of feeling nauseous. And my kids, for whatever reason, when their throats hurt, they feel nauseous. So I'm gonna go get her really quick and uh, drop her off and then I'm gonna go to Costco. All right, she just let me know she's kind of sticking it out until class ends so she doesn't interrupt class and all that kind of stuff which is nice it gives me time to get there but um let me just show you really quick just because I know um I have a second here before she's gonna meet me in the nurse's room there there we go but this is what it looks like to do like fall in the northwest I've got like sweatshirt zip up t-shirt I'm finally doing pants but I can't quite like get rid of the foot flops. You know, I, you know, I, if I get hot, my feet help me cool down. <laughs> if I get cold, I turn the air on in my car where I make hot cocoa and I warm my core body up. All right, closing the door. I'm gonna go get Chelsea really quick. Um, am I ready to go to Costco? Am I ready to drop her off? I think I am. I think the video I just edited is done. And that's why I stopped um, to make the hot cocoa. I also have two load, three loads of laundry that I've been working on. And they have one piece in each load that I need to pack with. <laughs> and then to have all the laundry done for everyone before we leave so then they can have no reason to say that I didn't have my shirt. Then you can wash it yourself. All right, so I just dropped Chelsea off. Um, and I was gonna film her and I was like, no, she's sick. Don't film her. And she doesn't really like to anyway. If she's in a goofy mood, she doesn't mind it, but it just makes me think of the super infamous YouTuber right now who is in the news um, for abuse of her children, <laughs> to say the least. And it makes me think of a time when she didn't want to pick up one of her children from school because they only threw up once and then got mad at them when they admitted that they had only thrown up once and she had required it two times. And I, anyway, regardless of what you think of her situation and her, I say this loosely, therapist's situation, um, I will always pick my children up if they say that they are sick. Um, one, my kids don't fake it. They just, they know <laughs> that if they come home and they're not sick, they in trouble. So they've never faked it. Um, I have let them stay home for like mental health days, 100%. If you just don't feel it up to it, if you need to like let your brain have a break, that's okay too, but. I don't know. I guess it's because I'm a YouTuber myself, so I'm hypersensitive to um, this current situation with this YouTuber. I'll go ahead and stop here for a sec. But it's also like I grew up in the town where two of her sisters lived, and they lived extremely close to where I grew up. Like we're talking a mile away from my parents' house and two miles away, a mile and a half away from my parents' house from where I grew up. Kids went to the same elementary school that's how close and so I feel a tie to people they probably know they probably know people that I know and I just have never asked people you know because that's just weird but this world of putting yourselves online 
and then being open for scrutiny is a sensitive issue. I'm a little cautious of filming my children and discussing, you know, discipline or stress or mental health. I, I'm all about talking about mental health. I think that's really important to talk about with children, especially with children at, in this day and age. But I'm gonna be a little bit more uber sensitive about filming my kids if they truly, I mean, I don't film them if they don't want to be filmed. Ashley, you know, she's like 99.9% .9 of the time okay with being behind the camera or in front of the camera, I should say. I'm just gonna be a little bit more cautious about it. You know, I don't want them to ever come back to me and say that they didn't appreciate it or, and even like with the Duggars in that situation and the kids never getting paid for all the national um, shows that they had done. I will clarify just to put it out there for myself that while my kids don't get a paycheck, if you will, for being on my videos or whatnot. The money that I do get from these videos is put into a family fund and that's how we go to Hawaii. So they are technically getting paid. They are getting a vacation out of themselves being put onto our videos. I'd never take that money for just myself. That money is not used for, you know, personal reasons. I do use a portion of that right now to help me pay for my surgery, but the very, very small portion and that's only for a few months so I don't know why I had that thought um maybe it was just from picking up Chelsea but we are off to Costco I'm gonna stock up the fridge I actually need to clean out the fridge to get them ready to go to be okay for a very short amount of time that Jason and I are gonna be gone they're likely to not notice that we're gonna be gone that's how little amount of time we're gonna be gone I also can't wait for the trees to start turning colors. They already kind of are right at the tips. Um, it smells like fall today. It feels like, look at the, ooh, look at the moody up there. Yep, that is fall in the Northwest. The moody, foggy treetops. Even if I try to leave, you still make me wanna stay. You ask me to believe. Moody skies? Blue skies. Moody skies. Blue skies. Don't you think we've had enough? That's always done. Literally bare minimum. Just the basics. Fruit, milk, bread, bagels, chips, or whatever, pirate booty. And I haven't gotten these for a long time, but Chelsea loves these. I figured that was an easy thing for her to make for lunches or dinners. So I was really in Costco for maybe 15 minutes. Complete blue skies. And it's hot out here now. Not hot, but like, I want to take my jacket off. Look at the color over there, you guys. It's happening. Oh my gosh, it happens so fast. We literally go from like green, green to like bright colors. This will stay, but like, it's gonna be so pretty to see it all change. Next up was Trader Joe's and you get to be serenaded by the Accordion players on the corner. We got eucalyptus and hydrangeas. These are for my sister. I'm gonna bundle them up with wet paper towels and then we'll put them in the hotel tomorrow night in water. And then I'll have them ready for her to celebrate her. All right, home. It's weird having all of my children here <laughs> during the day, I will admit. Um, I got the flowers for my sister. These are for my family's dinner, but I am surprising her with all those gifts as a congratulation. So I'm keeping them in their bags, just putting them on some water. I'm not really sure why this one is so bent. That's why I have this sitting here to like prop it up. Abby's here at the table doing her schoolwork, so I won't film her, but I've got everything else packed up in boxes. I've got the vase and the lotion in here. Keep that so that it doesn't break. My aunt's shoes there in the middle. Then I've got all the gift bags and the chickens down there. And then I've got all of the clothing items and blanket in this bag as well as the paper goods supplies. So I just wanted to be able to put it all in the car next to our suitcase um, and you know, just have it all in one place. I'm kind of a compartmentalized kind of person. Well, we just got fantastic news and it's actually fun that Abby is here so that I could tell her the news first so 
So let me see if I can get Jason on the phone and tell him, I don't want it on my earbuds. Let me see if I can get a hold of him really quick and we'll tell both of you at the same time. I don't know if he's gonna answer or not. Let's, let's pray he can answer. Hi, this is Jason, thanks. Try the store. Jason, hey, I just have quick news to tell you, and I know, I know you're busy if you don't answer your phone. Abby's surgery was just approved, and we can go ahead and schedule it as soon as they open the December calendar. Sweet. I know, she's I like... be on them like, like crazy so that they actually schedule it. Well, she was like, all right, you ready to schedule this in October? And I'm like, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, can we do it in December? Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's just not open yet. We'll call back as soon as that calendar's open. So I'm assuming in another month they'll have they'll have December open. Okay, sweet. I know, isn't that good news? Yeah, she was right here when I was on the call, so it was fun to like. It's oh, an. Oh, good. Yeah, so. You have to be so happy. All right. Yeah, great news. Okay, no, I'm happy for her. She yeah. Me. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I should bring home a little treat or something for her. Yeah, I do. Okay. She's working hard. Um, yeah, no, she's been busting her butt with all the homework and stuff. I've seen Kaylee doing it too. Yeah. Um, and they're working hard. Yeah. Um, Abby's down here at the table working on it. Okay. I don't know. Should I go to Costco and get uh, little brownies? Would she like that? Should no, we already have some. Oh. I'll, okay. I'll call you later when we'll figure out something. Okay. So, you heard correct. I wish I looked a little bit better this morning. Um, I didn't wash my hair last night after my shower, so my hair's a little bit. I'm going to do it tonight so that it's dry and straight um, tonight before we get in the car tomorrow. But yes, you just heard correct. Such good news. It's a strange thing to be excited for, for your daughter to get to have very invasive surgery. Um, her jaw surgery is going to get scheduled in December, which is the perfect month for her to be able to do it. It's the most amount of time she has off from school, both um, her high school and her college courses that she's taking. Excellent news. Very exciting to get that today. Oh, it feels like in some ways, like we could be done for the day. We can be done with you guys because that was like just the icing on the cake for good news today. Um, but we're going to, Jason's going to do a few things on his way home from work today. Um, and then I'm hoping for the most part, we can pack up the car tonight, but we, it's going to be so easy to do. We'll likely just do it in the morning before we go. Um, but yeah, we're getting all ready to go today. Um, getting the house just prepped to be gone and the kids, they just, they're good kids and they just know the routine and they know <laughs> do everything. So it's really not difficult for us to head out of town for a few days. We are, I need to call it a night. We still have more to do and this one, is making a cookie, a mega cookie, apparently. She wanted to make a cake. It's 8 p.m. We just got home from Cheers. This one's just easier than I can on one. And I don't have any frosting left, so I told her the Three cake Three tablespoons of, I don't know how this butter. is work. You just do, um, here, I'll just, no, 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 that's not done. Hang on, I'm gonna help her. We're gonna call it a night, and uh, we will see you on the road tomorrow. I've got the car half packed up, but we can't do so much of it until tomorrow morning, including our whole suitcase. So stay tuned. Jason and I are about to have a really fun time on the road. This is what it's like to have him around the house. Headphones in all the time. Can't hear me. Dad. Uh, <laughs> I have headphones in. I know you do. And I'm focusing on something else. Okay. Take care. Just enjoy your sacred loneliness. I'm over here in my I This home. is my sacred loneliness. I want my sacred loneliness. Just give me a second. I need some respect. Knife <laughs> in the kidneys. <laughs> yeah, in the kidney. Bring the kidney. Take care, guys. Easy, easy on our tiptoes.